I <sighs> haven't really thought about it at all. Like, <laughs> not even a little bit. Um, it just feels natural, and I understand, like... You bastard. I used to always watch, you know, your brother, especially. Yeah. And his thing that he, I always noticed is he was always low. Yeah. Right? Like, his bottom... From his drop to the bottom turn, through the turn, yeah. he's low. He's compressed. And... But, it, but like you're saying, that's it's very difficult to do. Dude, it's, it's very unnatural. It's super hard. Because it's really easy to just stand up, you know, and then and then just kind of be like this and highline. Yeah. But when you're stuck low, everything needs to be precise, yeah, right? You have to be on. Yeah, because if you start to catch, you have nothing to go like that with. Yeah. You know, you, you, all you can do is spring up. You can't, you can't load. Like, you can't get, get any lower. Yeah, so that's yeah. right. So, you know, usually... Yeah, if you're right in the middle, you can go both mm -hmm. ways. But if you're completely low, you gotta be perfect. Yeah, I didn't yeah. really think about it that way. Cause if, say like where I'm at, I can I can screw up because mm -hmm. I can drop, right, and or I can go up. Right. But you guys are pretty much as low as you get. Right, and that's, that's where uh, beginners. That's, that's why you see a beginner and they stand straight up. Yeah. Because, because it's easy if you're gonna lose your balance to get low. Right. right? Like if you're if you're like. Oh no, all you do is bend your knees, you're not going to fall. Right. It's yeah, pretty you, simple. You That's drop. why I tell yeah. people when I'm like working with new students, I'm like, like beginner beginners, I'm just like, if you feel like you're going to tip over, you're just standing too tall, just yeah. lower down, you will not yeah. fall. Yeah. But, but when you are at the bottom of where you're at, now all you can do is use leg muscle and leg strength to push yourself up. Yeah. So totally. you could fall and you know yeah you don't fall that far because you're low yeah but you, but the only way you can get out of that position is by using leg muscle yeah, and you force push. and that's where when you're especially like the thing that always tripped me out about taylor and a lot of the just the top guys like and kelly's had it Ke kelly has it too they sit on those bottom turns yeah and they're so compressed for so long and it's so drawn out yeah that i mean just growing up trying working on that specifically it's like you get halfway and you get to the point where you're just about to go up. Now your legs are feeling a little tight, yeah. you know? So it's like, and then what, what they're doing, like, like your brother will go through a turn, still compressed, like you said, yeah. go through it all the way, staying compressed into a bottom turn, yeah. you know? And it's just like, that's like, crazy. It's a trip. And a crazy thing. I feel like the thing that I've learned the most, like honestly about that, or I've been working on even to this day is, um, not not tightening up tensing up too much because what happens what, what do you, elaborate on that what do you, so where, like, what do you mean where so at? so when you're low right yeah you're coming down you're low you're coming off the off the top you're dropping down for a bottom turn you're low right you're compressed mm -hmm. yeah if you're tensing well, I'm, up, I'm kind of low you're you're really low well but yeah all right sorry. i got it, I got it but, in my if, head. but if you're tensing like just imagine you're tensing up right right you're putting so much so much on your on those muscles right everything's getting tight oh, you're holding and then for you to release and be loose and flexible it yeah. doesn't really work that way right so the key is to stay low but but loose and it's so hard that's because it, because as you get low your muscles start it, to tighten right yeah they elongate and then they, they, they tighten. tighten so yeah. I, f I i feel like the breath work between the turns right. so when you're you know you're dropping in you know you're blowing out and then when you're going up and then yep. blowing out on the yeah. on the down off the bottom curve. off the bottom you got to be going and, then, and on the and way then, up yeah and then through the turn yeah and yeah. again and, and again you always cuz what it does actually like scientifically it charges your your it pushes your your guts your visceral down into your pelvic floor right and it's uh it's called a thoracolumbar fascia mechanism mm -hmm. and it goes all the way from the spine to the belly button and the you know all you know the bottom pelvic girdle and everything like that so when you breathe out and you make your stomach big like we've trained right, right. it supports your spine and it makes everything like like a bottle if you grab a bottle with the lid on it and you squeeze it it's mm -hmm. tight right right you take the bottle off and you squeeze it or the cap off and hey, you squeeze it and it's weak right. right or even if you were to do it and like put a little dent in it and put it back on mm -hmm. then it's really malleable too so you want to make make sure that you really push out and make your stomach like a big canister right right but if you go like this and you go to turn and your ribs kind of puncture that canister then you're all wobbly again right. so you got to be careful and that's where that neutral spine comes in that flat back right ass up head down pretty yeah, much yeah, coming yeah. off the bottom um yeah because most most i mean most people that surf even myself i find sometimes holding my breath yeah dude you get a you're excited you get a good wave and you're like <gasps> 
and like you're like surfing and all of a sudden you're like whoa i'm holding my breath yeah. for so for through like three turns yeah totally and then it's just like what am i doing and then you're like all puffed up and yep. you're not really you're not like you said you're not releasing and then right you're not breathing through your muscles and getting oxygen in there and yeah so. i've been uh, i've been dirt bike riding a, a bunch and i watch all these like vlogs and stuff and mm -hmm. um they say like you know inhale into a berm and exhale on the way out and when you exhale you're moving forward and that's kind of what right. it is you want yeah. to you want to be strong in through the turn and yeah. then when you breathe out is when it's going to accelerate you through and it's kind of the same thing in every sport so i think yeah i think that's so overlooked yeah dude. everyone's looking at like the the technique and all this stuff and they're not understanding your the body mechanics and how the body needs to work and breathe and to maintain you know right. and like really get all that out of it you know well it's just like the muscles like we're like pistons you know like mm -hmm. you know yeah. a pump right it's pumping pumping and the lower you can get and the more you can extend and whatever or, you know if you can get really low then you don't you don't want to ever you don't really ever want to come up right. you know all the way so if you can be really low then you can just work in here and just yeah. be a machine yeah so i'm here and i'm working here where i'm getting close to extension like right. complete extension right and that's not good so if i can get down where you are or if most people could get down to where you are and just come up you know eight to 12 inches maybe yeah yeah then you're dialed yeah you know but that's what i don't possess and have and if i work on it and i get into it yeah and on my backhand my backhand kind of almost looks that's where i'm good like on my backhand mm -hmm. you know the stuff from waco you know i'm like i'm flowy and i'm holding the bottom turn and my knee is for closer sure, to my chest sure. and then that's on my front right. hand i'm kind of standing up i don't it's so weird how it varies from front hand to backhand do you have any like i think it was dane reynolds that said like like it, every board should be uh asymmetrical because we serve so much differently on our backhand than we do our forehand do you agree with that because that know. one's kind of hard to wrap your head around because you do and it's there i know that but i don't really know how to explain i that. don't know if i agree on like the actual board needs to be asymmetric but i mean if you definitely have a different way a different angle of, of pressure on a board which makes sense yeah. um and who knows he's probably right it probably will it'll probably help <laughs> yeah but um i don't know what, i don't know what you would switch it to like on my backhand and you know because off the bottom you you push so much harder off your back foot off the bottom right on a on your backhand and then you get way more rotation as well too but you'd want drive but you'd also want to be quick in the pocket to fit well and that's well and that's the thing like so then you, then you'd get weird with but that's would, a, that's the thing if you're trying to if you're trying to make a board that's specific for right. one angle one rail yeah. you kind of feel like you're kind of limiting things because you should be able to have equal pressure on either toe edge or or heel right. like you know you don't it doesn't really make sense to me to have one that turns over quicker than the other one when yeah if your board is fit for your for your foot width and your your dimensions then you should be able to turn them both over just as just as equally but that's yeah. I don't know, it's just well and also much. like say if you had like a square toe like and you want see, it just depends on the conditions too because if you wanted something to pivot you, know, you kind of want to go off a squash and kind of be able to pivot and get up into the under the pocket and just right. rack it off right there but i wonder about like a kind of a round tail and then like the and it's just a little more elongated and then rounded off right. here i mean that'd probably be the safest bet yeah I mean, you know i mean like that's a weird what oblong Thing. those round tails is what i've been riding the most yeah, like the one you too. rode yesterday and yeah it just i feel like it has a nice in between where it feels like a squash still yeah but it holds just a little bit where you can really push and and it just kind of feels like it holds a little Pretty bit much more. like a thumb tail yeah thumb tail yeah yeah round round tails i mean let's get into that so like a round tail would probably be like a little bit more here yeah and then you got the thumb that's like that I mean the thumb the bas here, basically right? a squash with the round. Yeah, it's like edges. a round. It's like what Mick rides for you. I yeah. mean, I guess that's that was Mick's model, right? That Roberts did for. Yeah, the staff. one. Yeah, the one he. That's what it was. So yeah, that was pretty yeah. much he rides like mostly rounded squashes. So mm -hmm. a thumb. But I mean, back but back to the national thing, like. So I grew up in that kind of environment, you know, and, and so, I would just lose in in, in contests, and then I, I met um, Mike Lamb. You know, yeah. Mike. And he coached a lot of the kids, and and he was. I, I was. Forgot, I, I was, forgot you trained with him. I was introduced with to him through a buddy, a, through a mutual friend, and and he just asked Mike. He's like, hey, you know, I'm this, you know, this guy from my beach. This little this kid. He's like trying to get going. Doesn't have any money. Um, think you could help him out. So then he's like, sure. So he just 
just kind of invited me over to a shop over here, the kayak place, yeah, and yeah. sat me down and kind of broke down, like, how you want to heat. Like, just very simple. Drew it on paper. I, st I still have it somewhere. It's right. pretty rad. Like, he just drew this out. He's like, this is why Rap Boy can never be world champ. This is why Tom Curran can be world champ. Like, he kind of just, just not saying Rap Boy's not the man. I've air, always, I've always wanted to get into his little, he's got a little folder he carries with it's him, dude. I want to steal that thing and just yeah. check it out. Because I, I think I take a... I really, you know, I coach a lot, and I got a lot of, you know, yeah, we, yeah. we make it course, happen, dude. We got a lot of good guys and stuff, but I think I, like, have to go to everything all the time, right? Where I think he simplified it. He's got a, he's got a his way little book, dude. It. I'm going to punk that thing, Mike. I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> when I, and he has a way of explaining, too, that makes it easy. But, but yeah, I mean, he just, he wrote some things down. He showed me, got a little understanding. I did, a, like, two or three contests after. Didn't do well. Um... Then I saw him at nationals, and this was like, like a, a few months later, mm -hmm. right? And I, he wasn't working with me. He just helped me a few tips, gave me some pointers. I went down there, and I saw him before my first heat. And so I just walked up to him. He's like, hey, what's up? And then he gave me like a few little tips of what to do. And I was like, all right, I'll try it. Like nothing else has worked. I didn't know if this would work. I'm like, I was just, I didn't know what to do, you know? What, what did he say to us? It was something really simple. Like, he, he's like, just take off, do a nice deep bottom turn, and just hit it as close to the hook as you can. He's like, just keep doing that. Like, super simple. Like, like don't try to be fancy, throw in tail. Just go straight up as close as you can get to the hook and hit it. And, keep, and just do it until the wave's gone. I was like, all right, I'll try it. Went out, did it won my first heat i was like holy you know i was tripping out well, well okay so so that's super that's simple it was mainly rights right. i was going backside okay that's simple so, so what what were you doing that was different compared to that because i mean that's a pretty simple approach like okay so obviously simple. drop in bottom turn i think before when I was, where it's critical i think what i was doing before was i was watching taylor steel movies i'm watching guys punt i'm watching one uh, big maneuver yeah. and i wasn't putting for one, I wasn't putting a heat together, right. you know, building a heat. And I wasn't, I wasn't doing what the judges want to see. It's very simple. If somebody was filming on the beach, then yeah, I'm probably doing what they want me to right. do is go big. But in a heat, there's a structure. And yeah. back then the structure was a little different than it is now, right? Now you can do one big move and get a huge score. Back totally. then you couldn't do that. So I went yeah. out, I won my first heat, right? That was when I was like and I was tripping, three to the beach. You know, right. Yeah. And so I won my first heat. And then the next heat, I went out and I saw him again, and he's all, just do that same thing, he told me. And um, I did it, and I won that heat, and I ended up winning every heat and the final. And it was just such a trip. It was so eye-opening, and it was such a trip because it, at that point, I realized, you know, you don't have to be the most talented surfer. You have, if you have a game plan and you understand what the judges want to see, and you can train your body to to deliver that you will crush it right. and it's you know and it goes kind of like the adriana de souza yeah, thing you know yeah. i mean he was so smart and worked so hard he wasn't the talent most talented yeah. you know i th i think he i think his style is good a lot of people hate on his style i think it's better now i think oh, it's, it's it was pretty gnarly it back. was a little yeah you know he's it was, got what he does is he he bends his knee out this way and yeah, so like you got you got Adriana and yeah. then you got Taj right or Bobby or me like or, when, yeah. when Bob Martinez was just so knock kneed yeah and it just looks so clean it yeah. was like amazing that's how I so I put this hole in my foot by by, <laughs> by rolling the knee down 